Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with PowerDriver.org and what I wanted to do today was show you what uh, the pay statements look like so you can kind of start looking at the numbers and seeing how you can maximize the amount of money that you make. So when you log on to Uber, uh, it takes you here to this page uh, to your pay statements and that's showing you right now that's my current pay statement so that's for this week I've worked two days I've done 40 trips uh, I've earned three hundred thirty seven dollars and I've worked 14 hours and my acceptance rate is 89 percent okay so I'm gonna go back to a completed week okay so this is uh, a week a few, a few weeks ago and what you're gonna see here is um, in that week I did hundred and twenty five trips all right, I worked 43 hours. I had an 88% acceptance rate. Remember, to get the power driver bonus, you need to accept uh, at least 75%. So that's important uh, to remember that. And then as we scroll down, you'll see it shows the total for my, my trip earnings. And then you'll also see right here the power driver bonus of $500, right? And then uh, what you see here, this is the payment I make each month for my car, uh, for my car lease. Uh, and then it breaks it out by day. Okay, you can see it broken out by day. So that's what Uber looks like. Now, with Lyft, um, you click on driver summaries and it's going to show you all the different driver summaries that you've got. Um, so for that same week, okay, which was June 20th through 26th, um, <clears throat> I earned $760. So as you scroll down, it'll show you how many trips you did. So in this case, I did 82 uh, for Lyft. 29 during peak hours. So again, to get the power driver bonus, you need to do uh, 25 during the peak hours and, a, and at least 80. And when you do that and you keep an acceptance rate over 90%, then you're going to be able to keep all your commissions. So you don't have to pay anything uh, to, to lift. So here it's broken out by day. And you can see I only spent 27 hours driving for lift. Um, that's how much the passengers all paid, $712.73. That's how much uh, Lyft would take out. I got $43 in tips okay, from the online app. And then you'll see here, power driver bonus, I got that 20%, my commission back. So in total, I got, uh, got a pay of $760.73. So let's look at the numbers here. I just put together this little tiny spreadsheet. <clears throat> So from Uber for the week, I got paid $931. Then I've got the $500 bonus. So in total, I made $1,431 uh, from Uber, just driving for Uber. Now look at the difference that makes. This is the uh, how much I made per trip. So without the bonus, I made $707 per ride. With the bonus, I made $11 per ride. So think about that. If you think every trip you take for Uber is worth at least ten dollars, uh, that makes every ride pretty exciting. That's a that's a pretty good feeling. And and that I, I've checked my numbers every week. That's pretty. That's about average. Lyft. Okay, I made five hundred seventy dollars for eighty two rides. That's an average of six ninety five. So pretty close to what Uber is. Now when you add in the bonus and the tips, okay you see that increases up to $9.22. Okay, so not quite as high as Uber. And this is why a lot of people are driving primarily for Uber versus Lyft, is you can make more per ride on those first 120 trips. Now, so you might say, well, why would I do both? Well, because when you're out there, it's not always, it's not always busy. It's not always real busy. And there's lots of times where you're gonna wanna have both apps on, so uh, if, if Lyft is, is hot, you're going to get your Lyft rides and sometimes it's going to be Uber and you're going to get your Uber rides. So while somebody might be waiting 15 minutes for Uber to ping, I might get a ping from Lyft uh, in, in three minutes and I'm off working. Okay, and then I'm turning both apps on. So uh, I made a, a video about that, um, how to work both systems together. And what happens when you work them both together, and, and this, this week I worked six week, six days of the week. So I was able to get both bonuses. I did close to over 200 rides um, in the week. Uh, it, it works out really well. And the reason I can get so many rides is because I run both apps and I'm not waiting. I hardly wait at all uh, for, for my next ride uh, because I can have both apps going. If it's really busy, 
um, then I can and then I can focus on Uber and get my Uber numbers up. Or if I'm during prime time in the morning and I need to get some Lyft numbers, uh, then I can just just work on work Lyft. Uh, but during a large part of the day where it's not as slammed busy, uh, then you're going to want to have both. So not a bad week. I made two thousand one hundred eighty-seven dollars and twenty-three cents. That was my take home, and that's pretty awesome. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me down below. Uh, if you are new and you haven't uh, signed up for either Uber or Lyft, or you're thinking about doing both, uh, please use my referral code listed below, uh, and feel free to visit my website at powerdriver.org, uh, powerdriver.org, and I've got a whole bunch of videos there on uh, getting started. I've been doing this now for seven months. I've done over 5,000 trips uh, since I started, uh, so I'm really starting to get the, get, get the system down pat, and uh, I'd love to help you if you want to get started. Okay, guys, this is Jay Crater. You go out and have a great day and be safe. Bye-bye.